While there are many things in life that you want, there are two things that you don't. These of course are cholera and cystic fibrosis. Both of these diseases are deadly, painful, and overall unpleasant for everyone. Cholera causes extreme diarrhea and vomiting. This leads to severe dehydration which has many side effects, including death. Cystic fibrosis on the other hand is also awful, but in a different way. While it is most commonly known as a lung disease, its first and primary effect is on the gastrointestinal tract, and it leads to severe constipation that can result in the death of newborns. If you do make it to adulthood, then you have the major lung problems that are commonly associated with the disease. Oh, and as a little added bonus, if you are male, you are probably infertile. While you definitely don't want cystic fibrosis or cholera, maybe if you're gonna get one, perhaps you want both. These two diseases are actually very closely linked, on a molecular level. Cholera is a bacteria that releases a toxin that leads to a cascade of effects that ultimately builds up a molecule in the liver, kidneys, and intestines called cyclic AMP, way above normal levels. Cyclic AMP stimulates a transport protein called CTFR. CTFR moves chloride ions from the cell into the GI tract. The chloride ions draw water into the GI tract and as a result the mucus that is present thins out. This is a normal process but since it is overstimulated that means the mucus is significantly more watery than it's supposed to be and this causes diarrhea. Cystic fibrosis on the other hand is a genetic recessive disease that causes the CTFR channel to no longer work. This means that no chloride ions can thin out the mucus in the GI tract and that means that the mucus is very thick thick enough to be deadly. Now you may have drawn the conclusion that if you have cystic fibrosis and catch cholera, cholera can't do jack. No matter how much cyclic AMP builds up, no chloride ions will travel into the gastrointestinal tract. The CTFR protein is simply non-functional. If you have cystic fibrosis, you can't die from cholera. This calls for a celebration. But wait, you still have cystic fibrosis. And, and that's not great. This is where we explore cystic fibrosis a little bit more in depth. Cystic fibrosis is a recessive genetic disease. That means that you require two copies of the gene in order to have the disease. But what if you only have one copy? There will be a combination of functional and non-functional CTFR proteins in the membrane of the cells, and fewer functional CTFR proteins overall. This means that if you did catch cholera, the effects would not be as severe because it just can't pump as many chloride ions into your GI tract. And as it turns out, having only one copy of cystic fibrosis doesn't really cause many symptoms, if any, of cystic fibrosis. This is called a heterozygote advantage. Being a carrier for cystic fibrosis means you don't have cystic fibrosis and you don't get as severe cholera. If we look at this from an evolutionary standpoint, it makes a lot of sense. The largest cholera outbreaks were in large cities with poor waste management, with the largest outbreaks being in Europe in the 17th century. Cystic fibrosis, on the other hand, was not as well documented at the time and was often confused with celiac disease, but currently people of European descent have the highest rates of cystic fibrosis. This push towards cystic fibrosis was probably caused because Europe suffered the largest amount of deaths per capita caused by cholera in the 17th century. The rise of cholera gave way to the rise of cystic fibrosis as a solution evolution was able to conjure up. People say fight fire with fire, but we humans may fight disease with disease, at least before modern medicine. If you are interested in this topic and want to know more, links to all the sources that were used in this are in the description of this video.